Okay, what we've done now, we went ahead, we got everything pulled apart, the console put back in. A cool piece of metal goes back in place of a piece of plastic for the shifter assembly. Then the shifter assembly has been installed. What we'll do next is go ahead and get our shifter stick put on and let's get this thing put back together and get the paddle assembly put on. Let's see what this thing will do. All right, now we've got the chrome trim ring back in place. We've got everything hooked up, console buttoned up. Everything is looking good. Uh, let's finish up putting the rest of the shifter together and get the paddle assembly onto the steering wheel. Let's get this project done. It's a very simple install. Uh, give yourself plenty of time, hand tools, uh, and a friend to help. You can have this thing in very quickly. So let's get this finished up and uh, get the steering wheel buttoned up too. All right, all right. Now there's the install. What what we ended up doing is, is we put the over extension on top of the shifter stick. It's got three points: one, two, and then three set screws that hold it in place. Then you have your nut that adjusts all the way down. You put your shifter knob on. You can it's straight up and down if that's the way you like it, or you can do 70 style muscle car where it's tailed it at a two o'clock angle. Tighten the nut back up on the bottom, and you're all done. Once you get all of the stuff back in place then i'd go back through mark off or the little marks you picked up from fingernails or just touching the surface uh that's that's uh get her cleaned up she's ready to go next let's get we've got this part completed let's go ahead and move on up to the steering wheel with the paddles okay the last part of the install is getting the paddle handles put onto the steering wheel and the reference quick reference point is is the battery side is going to go on the driver's side of the steering wheel for the install and they are going to fit across the main bar of the steering wheel onto the steering wheel itself and then they'll be putting set screws across or sheet metal screws across and then we'll get everything reattached so let's go ahead and get this this install finished up and uh, let's go hit the street Okay, now we're finishing up installing the panel handles and you've got six screws that have to be installed under the steering column. And there's also a small piece that's included in the installation kit that is Loctite. It helps keep the, the screws from vibrating loose. And we'll finish this up and we'll get the paddle handle assembly installed and get the project finished. Okay, now we've got the final part of the process finished. We've got the covers installed, the paddle shifters are ready to go. Let's fire this thing up and run it down the road. 